Okay. Trying to catch, make this little video before the sun go down. But this is a project I have for a while. Just been sitting on the shelf. Really got too much other stuff going on and really not a much time. But uh, it's fully welded. This is about as much welding as you can get. See the deck plate on it. You see that all that? You see this got the bearing. Pocket for the bearing. Brace. Even the front. It's all welded. Honda GX200. Anyway. I was planning to run, make this one a six bolt. Doing the cast mod head uh, and make it in a six bolt. Use one of these uh, war heads from Gage. This would be something about how it would be like that. And pretty much it would go like that. You know? Anyway, I was making this video mainly about compression. A dude was saying that, oh, what's the max compression you can go? He got like 11 to 1 versus 13 or 12 to 1 or 14 to 1 uh, in the modified engine. Uh, thinking that it was going to blow the jug off, right? But really, the compression doesn't blow the jug off, right? It all... <laughs> You know, contributes it's a it's a lot more pressure on the block and all that, but it's not really the compression that does it. Over the years, I have seen many many blocks blow the jug off, right? And the leading cause of it is quench. And a lot of people don't understand what quench is. Quench is when the piston is coming to top dead center and it's at top dead center, right? The space between the piston to head clearance, right? Not piston valve is normally pretty far away because the valve sit about an eighth of an inch, 200 thousandths down under the surface of the head, right? So the piston to head, normally when the engine, you clearance in the engine uh, to put it together, you say, oh, I got plenty of clearance. I got, you know, the, the piston isn't hitting the head or the piston is flush to the deck. And then you say, okay, I'm going to run a, a 10 thousandths gasket, right? A factory 10 or 11 or 12 thousandths gasket. And you put the head on and you spin it over and everything clears. You say, yeah, that's good. Now it's ready to start up, right? But now you only have 12 thousandths of quench space. That's it, you know? So the piston is coming up. Now it may be tapping the head. But the engine is so loud or radical or whatever, or you just simply can't hear the internal tapping of the, the piston hitting the head, right? So normally I like to run at least 40 thousandths, you know? I like to have either a piston sitting a little bit below the deck, 20, 30 thousandths below, you know? And if I run, say, a 10 thousandths, well, I never run a 10 thousandths, you know? I always run at least 20, 30 thousandths copper spacer or washer or whatever, something. I'm always running some type of gasket or whatever I'm going to run to have plenty of room. You know, I don't want the piston at any RPM tapping the head. It's just that simple. If you want more compression, if you really want that piston to be at a uh, flush to the deck, right? There's no power gain with it being flush or a little bit below or a little bit out, right? But if you really want it to be flush, all you have to do is just mill your head a little bit more, right? Say, oh, yeah, man, I don't want it to be below because I'm going to lose compression, right? Mill your head a little bit more. If you say, okay, well, uh, I want um, the piston to be flush and I really want to run a 10,000 head gasket. Why do you want to run a 10,000 head gasket? Because with 10,000 head gasket, I'll have 14 to 1, right? Okay, well, take that gasket off, right? Get a 45,000 um, fire ring head gasket, right? And just mill the head 35,000, right? 
You mill ahead 35,000, you have the same exact compression, but you be safe with it. You know, you have a 45,000s gap between the piston and the head. You know, you don't have to worry about it tapping. But that's the leading cause. This here is another project I haven't finished yet either. This is uh, a Model 15, and uh, it has a 3.140 bore in it, and it's welded up. I was thinking of putting a bearing on here. You know, they don't come with bearings in the Model 15. That's like the only bad part. But it has the deck plate. It's re-sleeved already. It's braced all up. Nicely welded. You know. It's welded under the bottom too. Real nice. But uh. And it also has a billet head for it. See. Uh, I just. Haven't finished it. I think this is 38, 32 valves. See, it's not much shrouding. You know, it's kind of shrouded a lot because it's right up against the bore. You know, it's right up against the bore. But either way, that's going to end up being something like that. But, and this one. It's going to have a modified cast head. It's going to be pretty much like that. But all weld and everything is going to come out real, real nice. I'm going to put a tunnel port on here. I can get the flow up around maybe 160 on the flow and make this engine about... 300 and something maybe 309 or something cc and this one's bigger this is going to be about 328 cc because it has a bigger crank in it uh 2.2.588 8 stroke and this one will have a 2.437 stroke both of them the same bore it will be a, a 3.140 bore and this is a 3.140 bore Anyway, uh, that's all I had to say about that or whatever.